Hi, I'm music journalist Justin Cantor, and I'm here today to tell you a little bit about a few recent Average White Band catalog releases through the great folks at Edsel Records. A couple of years back, I had the opportunity to write the historical essay for the Average White Band box set, All the Pieces, which collected each and every single album that the band recorded from 1971 through 1996, uh, actually 2003, and also their classic live album from the mid-70s. Uh, but recently, a couple of releases from the folks at Edsel focus on the live element specifically, which is such an important part of the average white band's legacy. So I wanted to share those with you today. The series... Access All Areas is available on CD and DVD combo sets, which present uh, classic live recordings originally televised in the late 70s through the 80s. Um, and in this case, the Average White Band's concert is from 1980, and it was filmed at the uh, Theatre Royale in Nottingham uh, for part of the Rock Stage series. And it was done around the time of AWB's Shine album, uh, which has their classic Let's Go Round Again. And so I'm going to talk about this and its contents specifically more in just a minute, but I also want to show you the second piece of uh, this presentation, which is a very special picture disc edition of the Access All Areas with highlights of the audio concert. Uh, but first for the CD and DVD component, it uh, comes packaged in a nice slipcase, and once you remove the jewel case from there, you will find um, the CD in the first part, and simply uh, flip it over for the DVD piece. Um, great nine song set list uh, for this concert. Um, this is with uh, founding members Alan Gorey and Hamish Stewart on lead vocals, bass, and guitar. Uh, we also have Molly Duncan on tenor sax, as well as Steve Ferroni on drums. Um, he had been with the band since uh, 1974, um, as well as Annie McIntyre uh, and Roger Ball. Uh, so all those numbers are present uh, in this concert. And um, in the accompanying booklet, you also have a nice, uh, concise historical roundup of the band's uh, history and a little commentary on uh, each song that uh, is part of the set. Um, so let's talk a little bit about uh, the songs that are featured in this concert. Um, it opens up with two selections from the um, Feel No Fret album from 1979, which uh, are Atlantic Avenue and When Will You Be Mine. Um, these are both very funky tunes, kind of open the show in a nice mid-tempo way and build the pace gradually. And... Uh, as we listen to those kind of vibes, it's interesting to then go into the very atmospheric Cloudy, which is a very keyboard-driven ballad uh, from the group's Cut the Cake album, which was their second big album uh, following um, the White Album, as it's known, which had Pick, it up, uh, sorry, Pick up the Pieces, um, which really broke the band worldwide after several uh, commercially failed attempts prior to that. Um, and... Time-wise, we get a coverage of basically, I'd say, 74 to 80 on this uh, concert, insofar as the material goes. Um, as after Cloudy, we have uh, two selections that are really great up-tempo uh, songs, Kiss Me and Our Time Has Come. 
Um, Kiss Me being one of the last recordings the band did during their tenure in Atlantic Records and was released on a half compilation, half new album uh, called Volume 8, I believe, um, in 1980, around the same time as the Shine album, uh, which was their first for uh, RCA in the UK and Arista in the United States. And after that, we then go into the uh, group's kind of defining soul-searching album um, from 75 uh, with the selections Queen of My Soul and I'm the One. Um, and the moody, mid-tempo, kind of poetic ode to music that is Queen of My Soul uh, is really a great showcase for Hamish Stewart's uh, unique and lovely falsetto, as is the aforementioned Cloudy. And uh, I'm the one is a real funk groove. Um, and you'll notice in this concert as you watch it that uh, we have two young ladies known as the Chanter Sisters who provide very nice backing vocals, very subtle, uh, complementary to what Alan and Hamish are doing on the leads. Uh, and then we go into For You For Love, which was a minor uh, R&B hit here in the States uh, from the Shine album. Uh, and the grand closing number being Let's Go Round Again, which is just classic celebratory feel-good um, anthem um, with trade-off between Alan and Hamish um, and uh, really showing uh, both their ranges. Um, and as far as this uh, picture disc is concerned, I told you about that and I really was psyched about this because I love picture vinyl, you know, it's just something I've always been stoked about and these days it's really cool to get one, especially on a sometimes underrated band such as AWB. Uh, so you can see it comes in this PVC sleeve with the sticker. Uh, this has seven of the nine selections that I talked about on it, um, which of course it'd be nice to have all nine, but I think for quality's sake it's good that uh, Edsel chose to pick out seven of them. The ones that are omitted are on the one in Our Time Has Come. Um, so here is the front of the disc. We have a nice uh, group shot there. Um, sorry about the reflection. And on the back, a uh, very nice track list with the uh, set list logo that's part of this Access All Areas um, series. So um, that is a kind of brief summary of the Average White Band Access All Areas CD and DVD package. Um, here are the photos that are part of the uh, accompanying booklet, uh, as well as the credits for the songs. And I also did want to give you just a brief peek, in case you're not familiar with it, of the all the pieces box set, which by the way, um, current AWB member Fred Victor has a uh, unboxing video here on YouTube, um, which kind of covers this thoroughly, but um, this is well, through the shrink wrap. There you go. Um, the complete studio recordings, 1971 to 2003. Um, so again, 19 CDs, 172 tracks total, 52-page uh, booklet, um, which uh, part of that is my essay, and it was just really cool interviewing Hamish and Alan about their history in the band and getting kind of the whole story um, and uh, let's see if I'm failing to mention anything before I uh, close out here um, well oh, of course uh, I should mention um, Robbie McIntosh being the original drummer um, who tragically uh, died in 74 uh, of an overdose and hence uh, Steve for his uh, entrance into the group. Um, so anyway, uh, do enjoy these recordings. Uh, I think they are uh, well worth the investment, very reasonably priced. You can find them on all the Amazon sites as well as specialty sites like importcds.com. Um, what am I forgetting? Uh, Dusty Group, I know, um, tends to carry some of these cool titles. Uh, Juno uh, Records in the UK is a really cool site that uh, um, I like to go to. Um, so again, here is the cover of the Access All Areas CD and DVD. That cover. And, oh, the DVD is playable in all regions, so you don't have to worry, no matter what country you're in, uh, you can enjoy viewing it. And once again, the 
picture disc vinyl with seven selections. Oops, sorry about that. Um, from the concert audio. Thanks for listening, and I hope you enjoy some more goodies on Retro Rhythms while you're on here. Peace.